what measure is the Fed? Now, liquidity driving most of the recent moves in the markets, but even as guidance emerges from the central bank that inflation will continue to drive rates, rate hikes, the focus may be moving away from their minutes. Joining us with more, Yahoo Finance's Ines Ferre. Hey, Ines. Hey, Rochelle. Yeah, and the Fed is very data dependent. Now, remember that those minutes that we saw yesterday were from the last Fed meeting, so they were backward-looking statements, but certainly Fed officials concerned that inflation is not at their target of 2%, talking about the tight labor market, and what that does is that puts upward pressure on wages, also saying that they need to see more progress when it comes to the data, more evidence of progress is needed. Now, the data that has come out since that Fed meeting, of course, has been that CPI print, also the jobs report, retail sales. Now, you can take a look at the data and basically argue, is there a slowdown or is this hotter than expected? But overall, the market is seeing that this may be a hotter, hotter than expected print. PCE, that's a producer a side of uh, inflation that will be coming out uh, in next week. And so that'll be also something that the Fed is going to be looking at. As far as the two Fed officials after that Fed meeting, you'll recall that came out, those are two non-voting members of the Fed that said that they wanted a 50 basis point rate hike. Now, the Fed minutes showed that there were a few members that were opting for half a point. So who are those few? Uh, is a few three? Is it more than three? Uh, we don't have those details. But the market is anticipating at least a 25 basis point rate hike at the Fed's next meeting in March, Rochelle. And Inez, as we mentioned earlier, liquidity is still key for investors. How much does this match with the Fed minutes, though? Yeah, look, uh, the Fed has said that it will keep raising rates until it actually meets its target and keep those rates there uh, for a sustained period of time. Now, let's take a look at what the markets have been doing. I'm going to pull up a nine-month chart because we've been talking about a lot about liquidity in the financial system in the, in, in the world and the Bank of Japan buying up bonds, uh, China uh, also injecting liquidity into its financial system in order to prop up its economy. And so a lot of the a rally that we saw in January was attributed to this liquidity injection. Uh, but the central banks that are uh, have to really be careful when it comes to their peers because the Fed keeps on hiking and the Bank of Japan uh, risks devaluing its currency if it keeps buying bonds. If China keeps injecting a liquidity at an aggressive rate, then it will also risk devaluing its currency. So they have to play this tricky game uh, when it comes to its peers. And the F Fed has indicated that it will keep raising rates, Rochelle. We'll see if that message seems to be sinking in with markets in Ace Ferrer there for us.